Welcome back to the journey of Team 27. I'm Scott Hall. We are now heading into the third weekend of the season, and the qualities of patience, perseverance, and toughness were going to be major keys in the first game against East Tennessee State. The offense struggled through the beginning. However, this time, pitching and defense kept things tight until the bats could find their timing. Blakely Birch, as you see here all fired up in this great photo from Adam Goo, has come through clutch many times in her career. Now this is a shot from a go-ahead home run against WKU in 2019, a game that ended up needing a walk-off later from Rachel Rousseau, another player who has come through in so many big moments. Rousseau and Birch are the last two players to hit a walk-off from Marshall, with Birch's coming as a two-run double versus Louisiana Tech in 2019 on Emily Cooper Day. Rousseau and Birch had their problems early against ETSU at a combined 0 for 5 at the plate getting into the bottom of the seventh, but they had played well on defense. With the help of their teammates, the two clutch performers had their chance for another special moment on the journey of Team 27. Marshall's first game of the Dr. Bobby Bailey Memorial in Kennesaw, Georgia, was about to be a lengthy battle with the ETSU Bucks, one that would last nearly three hours. The herd's defense was on point from the beginning. several strikeouts throughout the day from the birthday girl in the circle, Lainey Jones. Jones looks in and delivers, and it is taken outside for strike three. Lainey Jones with two strikeouts in the inning, give her 26 now for the year. However, in the top of the third, Marshall found itself trailing by two and was in danger of a larger deficit before Jones resettled and ended the inning. Jones looks in, delivers outside, taken for strike three. Jones will finally get the last out of the inning, but not before ETSU puts up the first two runs on the board. Jones sent two more Bucks hitters back to the dugout in the fourth, bringing her total for the game to six. Through the first three innings on offense, the Herd managed to put only three runners on base, but a great start to the bottom of the fourth from Sage Pye and the added speed of Chloe Lee finally helped Marshall get on the scoreboard. Next pitch, Huerta lifts this one high and deep over into left center field, and it drops right at the base of the fence. Chloe Lee will come in to score easily. The Bucks threatened again in the fifth with two on, until a filthy pitch from Jones ended the inning nabbing her seventh strikeout. Grace Chelman gave Marshall a great chance in the bottom of the fifth with two away. She goes after the first one, drives this one over towards left center field. That's going to get over the head of Sarhat. Gentleman's going to easily take second. She's now going to head for third as they threw in towards second base. A triple for Gentleman. Allie Harrell was then walked for the 99th time in her career. Shortly after, ETSU ended the inning still leading 2-1. to one. The Bucks again applied pressure as two batters reached to begin the sixth. Then the Marshall defense made three great plays to kill the momentum. Change up, drop down, Birch picks it up, fires over to Allie Harrell just in time. Jones delivers the first grounder to short, where to has it, checks the runner at third, gets it over to Harrell, low throw, but Harrell able to hang on to it. Grupp lines one over towards center field, Grace Chelman reaches out and makes the catch. Almost overran it as the ball had a little curve to it. In the top of the seventh, still trailing by one, Rachel Rousseau reeled in a couple of catches and left. Next pitch lifted up high over towards left field, but Rousseau is there and makes the catch falling down to the ground. And then Jones ended the inning. Taken outside for strike three. Laney Jones picks up her eighth K of the ball game. In the bottom of the seventh with one away, Blakely Birch made her adjustment at the plate and sparked some life back into the offense. Birch lines one right down the line in right field. That's going to get into the corner. Birch rounds first. She's headed for second. Rounds second. She's going to keep on heading in for third, sliding in head first safely. Blakely, Birch gets her first triple of the season. Armani Brown then forced the only ETSU error of the day 
and Birch took advantage. Bowling looks in, payoff pitch on the way. Brown grounds at in the infield. Bowling comes up, checks the runner at third, airmails it over to first. That's going to allow Birch to come home and tie the game up at two. Harrell was then again walked for the 100th time, joining four-time All-American Rachel Folden in the MUSB 100 Walks Club. However, Marshall was unable to continue the heroics in the seventh, forcing the game to extra innings and adding to the suspense. With the international tiebreaker rule in effect, it looked like the game was headed back in ETSU's direction, starting the eighth with a two-run home run and then putting two more on base. Ashley Blesson entered the circle, and the defense finished things off. Blesson looks in, pitch delivered, lifted up high, curving back into foul territory. Harold trying to follow it, reaches up and makes the catch. Grounded over towards Blesson, but she can't get there. Brown scoops it up, just gets it over to first. Final out of the inning. Sage Pye started the inning running at second, as Maya Stevenson began to pull the momentum back in Marshall's direction. Stevenson grounds one over towards third off the glove of Grupp. Pye is going to keep running on around from third. Stevenson will stop at first. Marshall now trails by one. Single into left from Katie Adams will move Maya Stevenson to second. So two runners on now for Marshall and nobody out. Rousseau, who's come through in many clutch situations for the herd. Does she have another one in her now and in the bottom of the eighth? Rousseau sends one deep to center field. Going back is Helton off the base of the fence. Stevenson's going to come home to score. Pennington motoring around will get stopped at third. Marshall has tied the game back up at four. Birch also has a walk off in her career. A two run double last season at home against Louisiana Tech. Pennington at third. Rousseau at second. Pennington represents the game winning run. Tied up at four. Bottom of the eighth inning. Can Marshall get the walk off here? Birch, grounder up the middle. Game-winning run will come in to score. Blakely Birch with her second career walk-off as Marshall wins it in the bottom of the eighth, five to four over the ETSU Bucks. Team 27 turned it on when the game was on the line as the total team effort with some mental toughness helped push the herd to the extra inning victory and another great memory along the journey of Team 27.